Hey, Facebook, I'm Matt Bradley. I'm a foreign correspondent for NBC News in Rome. And today is another really tragic day for Italy. It's the latest in a line of tragic days this week. Today saw more than 600 people killed from the coronavirus in this country. That is by far the most killed in a single day here in Italy since this pandemic began. It really beats the uh, second highest single day total, which was two days ago. And, you know, this is, comes one day after Italy became the country that hosts the largest number of deaths from the coronavirus out of any other country in the world. It just beat China yesterday in terms of deaths. Now, this is really troubling because it comes well more than a week after the beginning of a nationwide comprehensive lockdown that has seen this entire country of 60 million people told to stay indoors, not to walk in the streets. If they walk around, they could get fined by the police. And we've been seeing that. And actually, we've been walking around today. We have a special permit to do so. The streets are basically empty. There's almost nobody around, and the ones who are, they're walking to and from something, going to the pharmacy to get medicine, or going to the grocery store. Those are the only two things that are allowed. It's a massive restriction on people's movements. But here's the other thing. It's not totally unpredictable that the deaths would spike, even despite this lockdown, because of course, say you got the disease two weeks ago, it could take you two weeks to finally succumb to the ravages of the coronavirus. But here's the thing. We've also seen a massive increase in the number of new positive tests, in the number of new, ca new cases of people who have tested positive for the coronavirus. That's now more than 5,000 new cases just today. So that means that we're still seeing a lot of new transmissions. Now, again, there could be a lag. Some of these people could have gotten the coronavirus well before the lockdown started. The lockdown could be effective in keeping people from getting this disease, but we don't know that. And so far, the numbers really aren't showing that. And that's something that a lot of policymakers throughout Europe and in states like New York and California and in cities throughout America, uh, people who own companies, small businesses, they're all going to have to look at that, whether this huge, uh, it, you know, huge invasion of people's privacies, whether this lockdown that's been dealing a body blow to this economy, to the American economy, whether that's worth it, whether that's effective, and if it is, how long it will take to actually change things and reverse the spread of this disease.